Hello. This is going to be a very quick one on the AKG P200, 220, 400, 420 modification that's supposed to make it sound more like a Neumann U87. I have personally owned a couple of U87s in my career. I'm speaking of the old version and those are really, really nice microphones. I don't own them anymore, so I'm kind of on the fence of trying to find another one or some alternative. So far I've been trying out the Rode NT1, this guy here, but it's a bit abrasive sounding, just like this microphone right here. What I'm hearing is the screechy top end the Chinese capsules are feared for. Just for shits and giggles, this is what the NT1 sounds like. It's the old version that still looks like a U87. It's a bit less abrasive, but still a fairly bright sounding microphone that has not very much in common with the U87. Back to the P200 here. What I'm going to do is just follow the instructions and modify one single capacitor. The instructions are all over the interwebs. Let's go. Now to open this thing, you need to use some pliers in reverse, just like so, and the body will come right off. The part we're looking to swap is this teensy weensy SMD capacitor right here. It has a value of 220 pico and we want to up it to 680. Here I have a nice selection of Styroflex capacitors, which are renowned for their beautiful tone. Haha, <laughs> let's see how they fare in here and how I can sneak it in. Hopefully, ah uh, yeah, there you go, it's coming right off. Then I need to insulate the wires of the Styroflex capacitor, shorten them to the correct length, a bit more twiddly twiddly teensy weensy soldering and voila, there you go component installed. Let's put the thing back together and listen back. Okay, the mic is ready, but I'm still using the old unmodified microphone courtesy modern post-production techniques. Let's switch over to the modified one. And here we are with the modded AKG P200. The capacitor has been installed and indeed the top end has resolved itself somehow it's become way smoother now is this a u87 sound alike i'm not so sure i think there's still something going on in the mid-range that's lacking right here it's probably the transformer i don't know now again using top-notch technology let's switch back to the past and hear the unmodified p200 and here we're back with the stock version well indeed there's this abrasive top end going on that's kind of a chalkboardy 10k thingy going on here. It's probably kind of horrible on acoustic guitars, giving you all those zingy highs. Let's switch back to the modified one once again. And here we're back. Capacitor installed, top end smoothed out. Anyhow, um, how about checking out some S's? S, 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 S. S S S S S Yeah, there you go. It's harsh. Back to the modified one. Well, okay. I wanted to keep this brief, so why not say goodbye? Thank you very much for watching, and I can recommend this mod. Go for it. Get your soldering irons out. Catch you later.